caliber. You know, why wait for others to elevate you? Can you not elevate? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I think status is in the eye of um, everybody else. I mean, I think from a from a golf point of view, I feel very comfortable with where my game is. Um, I know what I need to improve. I know how I'm going to do it, and I, and, I, and, I, and I back myself to. I feel comfortable standing up in in that situation now, and believing that I have the tools and the skills to compete. When did you start to feel like that, Um, I think Ryder Cup was um, big for me. Uh, just really making putts when I needed to, and. That was huge, and then, and then backing it up Tur in Turkey, I think, even though Turkey was you know, um, a casual type of environment, it was still going head-to-head -head against the world's best, and um, that was, uh, again, another big week for me, um, confidence-wise. Um, and then Dubai again, I think just the way I felt like I went down the stretch there. I had, it going, I had my final round going, and then, but didn't didn't let up. Just kept hitting good shots, and I felt like the more the pressure was on, the more the, the calmer and the better I became. And you know, especially the two shots I hit into 18, um, the two swings I made up 18. I, you know, I, I played 18 with a two shot lead and, and made birdie, and went for the green in two and split the fairway, and you know, just did everything that I felt like I had to do to win the tournament. And obviously didn't win, but in my mind executed as if I had won. So, you know, there's some three very positive experiences in which I can I can draw and. Uh, you know, you know this game's never easy. You just got to keep putting yourself in that situation, and there'll be times when you're in that situation, you feel comfortable, and you don't win. But <coughs> I believe, you know, I just, I just know that if I keep doing what I'm doing, those chances are going to come, you know, more and more often. Do you no longer doubt that you can do things that you've seen them do, do before? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, um, I, I, I now begin to trust that I don't need to do anything different in order to, to one, put myself into contention, and two, I trust my processes enough now to believe that I can deliver under pressure. But how recently did you not believe that? Um, you know, even maybe when I won, you know, I won the Memorial and I won, um, and I lost the, the Travellers and I won at and even in that hot three-week run that I had back in 2010, it was still all hard work and very conscious and very, you know, still learning those sort of skills at that time. And then, um, you know, I think winning wire to wire at the BMW was a big confidence builder for me, of feeling comfortable under pressure. And, you know, it's just slowly gotten better over time. You know, I think you just, you learn, the more situations you put yourself in, the easier it becomes. I think when you're in contention twice a year, it's very difficult because you need to make the most of those two times. If you're in contention 10 times a year, you know, each time you're in contention, it's, it's easier and it's also less critical that you make it count that day, which makes it easier anyway, if you know what I mean. John? Just going back to the 18th in Dubai, uh, you didn't mention the putt. How many times have you thought about that since? And what have you thought when you've thought about it? Well, I think it's the best part I've ever missed, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was a sensational putt, it really was. It was a tough putt because I remember looking at it going, I can putt this in the water, was one of the first things I thought. Um, if it got it going over that ridge with too much speed and it rolled about eight feet past the cup, there was then another little false uh, false front that would have fed it right into the water. So that's why I obviously had to be incredibly careful with the speed in which it went over the hill. And um, you know, there might have been obviously an element of luck that I judged it to perfection. But um, I knew that like, you know, when I visualised the putt, I walked to the top of that hill and visualised dropping a ball, and 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 I realised it would feed all the way down to the hole. So. Um, my caddy made an interesting point. Like he was, he had the flag stick and he was watching the putt. And in his mind, it was always perfect. And then he watched it on TV, and he was like, that, "I don't know how that ball got over the hill." <laughs> so you know, it was, it was an amazing, it was an amazing putt, obviously. And at the time, I, I, I thought I'd won the tournament. But um, you know, like I said, you would hats off to Rory for for five straight birdies to finish. Great stuff. Thanks a lot, Kevin.